Hey guys, this is Mr. Slauson. I just went out to the shop to make a quick little video so you could do this at home. Today I'm going to show you how to do long division with a calculator. And I do have to say, this would be a whole lot easier if you knew your time tables, but we've pretty well beat that horse to death. So let's try this method. Let's start with something pretty simple like 27 divided by 5, because we know that 5 times 5 is 25. Let's see what we can do with this. So step one, let's rewrite the problem. 27 in the box, five outside the box. Our trusty little calculator says that 27 divided by five is 5.4. Excellent, five works because it's the whole number. We'll start with that. We know five didn't go into two, so we put the five over the 27. Now we need to multiply five times five and see what we get. So you probably already knew this, but five times five is 25, but we did it on the calculator just to make sure. Now, what are we gonna do with that 25? Well, we're gonna take that 25 and subtract it from that 27, and I bet you know what number we're gonna get. Yep, that's right, we got two. What are we gonna do with that two? Well, in fourth grade or second grade or third grade, I don't know which, we would have said remainder five, but we're gonna be a little more sophisticated than that. We're gonna take that two that's left over and write it over there on the right-hand side. And then we're gonna take the divisor, that's the original five, not the one on top, and write it as a fraction. So 27 divided by five is five and two fifths. Pretty easy. All right, this time let's do something a little more interesting. How about 288 divided by seven? So step one was to write it down and step two will be to do the division on a calculator. Let's see what we get. Well, as it turns out, 288 divided by seven is 41 point something or other, we don't care. What we're interested in is the four. Let's do that number first. So we knew that seven wouldn't go into two, so we knew the four belonged over the first eight. So that's what we know so far. Now we need to know what is seven times four? I think it's gonna be 28, but let's check. Yeah, that worked. Seven times four is 28, and we're gonna put the four right there, and we're gonna put the 28 underneath. Keep watching. So 28 minus 28 is zero, and we had to bring the eight down. So our next division is eight divided by seven. And I know you know it's one, but we'll do it on the calculator anyways. We're doing eight divided by seven. Yep, eight divided by seven equals one and a whole bunch of decimals. We just gonna worry about the one. So seven times one was seven. And we had to subtract that from eight down there at the bottom. We brought the eight down. So how much is eight minus seven? I'm thinking it's probably one. Yep, we got that one left over and we got to make it into a fraction. So that'll be one seventh. Yep, that's the right answer. 288 divided by seven is 41 and one seventh. And that, my young friends, is long division done with a calculator. Let's get on it. We've got to learn the algorithm, but let's try to learn those math facts too. See you soon. Okay, let's summarize. If you want to take 288 and divide it by 7, rewrite it so 288's in the box and 7's the divisor on the outside. Then use your calculator, and you'll get 4.14 blah, 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 blah. And we're going to use the 4. We know the 4 won't go into the 2, so it goes above the 8. So 28 divided by 7 is 4. And we subtract the 28, and that leaves 8 left over. And then we bring down the 8, and we divide that by 7. And we get 1 left over. And that becomes 41 and 1 7th. Let's get on those timetables, guys.